For years, the jungles and forests all around the world have mystified and terrified humanity. After all, it's the home of creatures unknown to us, and you'll never know what's lurking within the dense forest. Jungles are home to much diversity, and also hide a lot of secrets. Despite the danger it poses, we continue to explore the unknown parts of jungles all over the world. And each year, we continue to stumble upon wonderful discoveries. From a German hideout to a mysterious Maya network, here are the 15 most mysterious things found in the jungle. Number 15. German Hideout in the Jungle In 1945, German dictator Adolf Hitler and his wife Eva Braun escaped through a secret tunnel. To mask their getaway, two corpses of doubles were left behind. It fooled the Allies into believing that Hitler and his wife were dead, and that there was no need for them to pursue the Nazi leader. Or at least, this is what many believed really happened. Although Hitler was declared dead on April 30, 1945, Many believed that the dictator fled to Europe and headed south towards Argentina, where a secret bunker was prepared for him. The country is known for its association with the Third Reich, the regime from January 1933 to May 1945. In 2015, Argentine archaeologists announced that they found a hideout built during World War II. Its purpose? To serve as a temporary shelter for all the defeated Nazis. A team of researchers from the University of Buenos Aires explored the hideout covered by the trees in the jungle of Argentina's northern Misiones province. Inside the shelter, researchers found German coins minted during the Nazi era, German porcelain plates, and other remnants from the tragic era. This discovery made it seem like the alleged rumors about the Nazi leader's escape were true, but it remains to be nothing but an alternate history. The German hideout is an incredible find, but archaeologists believe it never served its intended purpose. Experts believe that German soldiers did not seek refuge in the shelter, most likely because there was no need to in the first place. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. A Lost City Archaeologists in Honduras were baffled when they discovered a lost city that was never explored. The team ventured deep into the rainforests of the country and found traces of the unknown civilization. The White City of the Monkey God, or simply White City, was a site that was first located in 2012, after archaeologists used a light detection and ranging tool to explore the jungle. It was only in 2015 that the archaeologists announced what they found, a massive area of ruins reclaimed by nature. The entire city has been untouched since it was abandoned more than 1,000 years ago. The ruins consisted of plazas, mounds, and earthen pyramids. Archaeologists also found vessels, figures, and other artifacts that look similar to pre-Columbian civilizations that thrived in Mesoamerica. What's astounding is that underneath the ruins are most likely networks that serve as burials. Everything in White City was untouched, and there were no signs that the site had ever been looted. For years, experts and explorers talked about a lost city repeatedly mentioned in indigenous stories. Locals near the jungle often speak of a white house where indigenous Americans fled to escape from Spanish conquistadors. It was a paradise and a safe haven, but it was impossible to find. That was until an explorer named Theodore Mord claimed that he found the city in 1940. He returned from his exploration with thousands of artifacts to prove that he had finally found the long-lost ruins. However, he refused to divulge the site's exact location for fear that it would be looted, or worse, destroyed. He shared that the indigenous people also shared with him that a massive statue of a monkey god was buried somewhere in the ruins. Unfortunately, the eccentric explorer claimed his own life, and the truth of his discovery was never revealed. Today, archaeologists are convinced that there's a high chance that the ruins in Honduras were the city that Theodore found many decades ago. This lost city is still shrouded in mystery, and we still have a lot more to discover. What civilization built the ruins? What were their beliefs? It might take time before we find answers to these questions. Number 13. The Ku Chi Tunnels of Vietnam The history of mankind is riddled with war and bloodshed. Although that time is long past, the remnants of the battle remain to this day. Vietnam was one of the many countries in Asia that suffered from tumultuous times in the past. Today, the country still has an immense network of tunnels that stretch tens of thousands of miles underneath the Ku Chi district, northwest of Saigon. During the Vietnam War, these tunnels were used by communist guerrilla troops as a temporary shelter, storage for supplies, and a way of transportation to lay booby traps and surprise attacks all around the area. 
It was an incredibly effective system, and the U.S. and South Vietnamese forces needed to deploy tunnel rats to go into the tunnels and report any trap or troops hiding underground. The entire network of tunnels covers over 150 miles from the outskirts of Saigon to the Cambodian border. The tunnels have narrow entryways, and it looks incredibly horrifying. At the peak of the Vietnam War, these tunnels saw death, but aided many to escape. Number 12. The Eighth Wonder of the World Sigiriya Sinhagiri, or Lion Rock, is a colossal ancient rock fortress located in central province Sri Lanka. This imposing fortress features a massive column of rock that's about 590 feet high. For many, this place is the eighth wonder of the world, not only because of its beauty, but because of its historical and archaeological significance. Nestled in the heart of a large forest, this massive rock has been the home of people since prehistoric times. Archaeologists found rock shelters in the vicinity as early as the Mesolithic period, roughly 5,000 years ago. By the 3rd century BC, Buddhist monks and ascetics occupied the settlements near the area. The stone fortress consists of an extensive network of reservoirs and gardens, some of which are believed to be among the oldest in the world. A staircase is also a part of the fortress, leading up to the garden, and it's considered to be an architectural masterpiece. Each step was carved from limestone, and the entrance emerges from the carved open mouth of a beast. Ancient texts indicate that King Kashyapa built this magnificent forest in 477 AD. It remained a settlement for all sorts of people for thousands of years until recently. Today, Lion Rock is a popular tourist destination that enamors anyone who gazes upon it in person. Number 11. Rings Older Than the Amazon Rainforest Amazon jungle, or Amazonia, stretches from northwestern Brazil and extends into Colombia, Peru, and other South American countries. It's the largest tropical rainforest on the entire planet, and it's home to over 3 million different species. There is no doubt that it's one of the most important places on Earth for its biodiversity, but also for its archaeological significance. In 2014, archaeologists announced that they found ditches scattered around the rainforest that predate the Amazon itself. Hundreds of these mysterious earthworks were hidden for thousands of years beneath the rainforest. Today, they're known as the Amazon Rings. The geoglyphs were first discovered after a large portion of the rainforest was cut down in the 1980s as part of the Amazon colonization project. No one knows what the marks on the ground signify, or who made them. Experts estimate that the geoglyphs were made between 1,000 and 2,000 years ago, during the Amazonian formative period. Around the same time, other settlements thrived in the surrounding regions. The circles rarely had anything inside of them, and it looked like the mysterious rings weren't ancient villages or ritual sites but rather, ditches that were dug by people sporadically to use for ceremonies. Unlike other ditches or geoglyphs around the world, the only artifacts found in the Amazon rings were decorated ceramic vessels that were deliberately smashed. Some people think that ancient people roamed around the Amazon and dug these ditches whenever they needed to conduct a ceremony. However, the identity of the people responsible for the Amazon rings remains unknown. Number 10. The Ancient Tribe in the Amazon in 1914, Percy Fawcett claimed that he had seen a tribe of large, hairy men in the jungle regions of South America. They spoke in grunts and uttered no words. They were capable of using bows and arrows, and looked like they would attack at any moment. Fawcett's story is one of the many alleged human encounters of the Marikoshi. These were allegedly creatures that grow up to 12 feet tall that hid in the jungles of South America. Marikoshis were described as powerful bipeds who, despite not knowing any human language, were skilled in ambush and attack techniques. The account of Fawcett was further shrouded in mystery after his unexplained disappearance from the area, along with his eldest son. His diary was later on published by his other son, Brian Fawcett, and it became one of the pieces of evidence cryptozoologists like to reference when talking about the Marikoshis. Other accounts often describe these creatures as incredibly aggressive. They reportedly attacked humans on sight on several occasions, and their knowledge of the jungle made it possible for them to disappear within seconds. Number 9. The Man Who Lived in the Jungle for 30 Years In December 1944, the last months of the Second World War began. At the time, soldiers and ordinary people alike had no idea that the bloody battle that raged on for six years would end soon. At the time, Japanese Lieutenant Hiro Onoda was assigned to Luban, a small island in the Philippines. 
before he left his country, he swore to do his part and dedicate his life to his duty. Little did his superiors know that Onada would fulfill his part as a soldier and more. Several weeks after his arrival in the Philippines, U.S. soldiers forced the Japanese troops to withdraw and hide in the jungle. Most of his comrades died or were captured by the U.S. soldiers, but Onoda, along with three fellow soldiers, Private Yuichi Akatsu, Private First Class Kinshichi Kozuka, and Corporal Shoichi Shimada hid in the forest. At Onoda's insistence, the four soldiers did more than survive in the jungle. They tried to carry out guerrilla activities whenever they could. The group also got involved in several shootouts with the local police. Little did they know that their country would surrender in October 1945. Leaflets were scattered all around the region, announcing that the war ended on August 15th. All soldiers were ordered to come down from the mountains, but Onoda refused to believe the message. In his mind, the leaflets were created by the Allies and continued hiding. By the end of 1945, several leaflets were once again dropped by air, each one printed with a surrender order from General Tomoyuki Yamashita of the 14th Area Army. Onoda, along with his companions, read the leaflet but once again they dismissed it as a hoax created by the enemies. In March 1950, about five years after the end of the war, one of the soldiers, Yuichi Akatsu, decided to surrender to Philippine forces. In 1952, letters and pictures were dropped down from the skies to urge the soldiers to finally come back home and surrender. But the three remaining soldiers still refused to believe it. The three soldiers were determined to hold the island until the Imperial Army returned. Onoda's remaining companion died in 1954 after being shot by the locals, whom they never had a good relationship with. Onoda was declared dead by the Japanese government in 1959, but in truth, the man remained in the jungle of the Philippines, still waiting to carry out his duty. That was until one fateful day on February 20th, 1974, when Norio Suzuki finally found Lieutenant Onoda. Still, Onoda refused to leave until Major Yoshimi Taniguchi, a superior officer, personally went to Lubang Island and issued orders to Onoda. On March 9, 1974, Onoda received the order that the Imperial Command, the 14th Area Army, had ceased all combat activity. After 30 long years and several deceased companions, Onoda was relieved of his military duties. Before going back to Japan, Onoda surrendered his sword, rifle, as well as 500 rounds of ammunition and hand grenades. He became a popular figure when he went back to his country. He died at the age of 91 after living a relatively peaceful life. Number 8. The Strange Patu Bird You might have already seen this bird in memes and funny photos on the internet, but what's the truth behind these avian creatures? At some point, the existence of Patu birds was dismissed as a hoax. It was quite understandable considering their strange appearance. However, Patu birds are very much real. These birds live in Central and South America where they're known for their great camouflage abilities, their goofy eyes, and their loud call. These birds can easily disguise themselves and blend with trees, making themselves look like tree branches. Although many call these birds avian monsters, Patus are incredibly shy and solitary creatures. They look like they'll harm you if you try to mess with them but they would rather hide and avoid danger than fight. Number 7. The Lost City of Maya In the heart of a lush forest in the north of El Petén in Guatemala lies El Mirador, or the Belvedere. This massive area was once a pre-Columbian settlement, and it's considered the Lost City of Maya. In 1885, Claudio Urrutia surveyed the Mirador Basin and discovered the presence of the ruins. However, it wasn't until archaeologist Ian Graham examined the area that it was fully studied. In 1962, Graham completed a detailed map of the ruins, and by 1978, archaeologists were conducting careful studies around the area. El Mirador is considered to be one of the greatest gems of Mayan culture. The ruins include La Danta, a massive pyramid that measures about 230 feet tall. The entirety of the ruins have been reclaimed by nature but the raised roadways remain visible to this day. Archaeologists estimate that the lost city dates back from around 1000 to 4000 BC, but much about their civilization remains unknown. The massive complex was once occupied by about 200,000 people, but the entire city was abruptly abandoned about 2000 years ago. Today, the ruins are still being studied, but are open for the public to visit. The journey from the city to the ruins is quite challenging, but if you want to see the epitome of Mayan culture, the trip would be worth it. 
Number 6. Meteorite that holds proof of alien life. Every year, about 17,000 meteorites fall to Earth. I know, it's hard to believe, but this includes the very small particles that pass through our planet's atmosphere. Astronomers study these space rocks, and from time to time, they find something interesting. A new substance, an intriguing alien metal, and more. However, no one has discovered alien life inside meteors. But some people think that we already have. In 2012, a meteorite fell in a jungle in Sri Lanka, and when scientists examined its contents, they allegedly found life inside the space rock. A research paper dedicated to describing the rock claimed that it contained highly carbonaceous fossilized biological structures, or in short, alien life. The paper also contained photos captured by an electron microscope that seemed to support the fact. This discovery was highly publicized in 2013, and yet, its popularity immediately died down. Several astronomers dismissed the research as a hoax and that it was impossible to find alien life embedded in meteorites. Several experts believe that the meteorite came from a comet that contained living diatoms, or microscopic phytoplankton. But since the research was dismissed by renowned scientists, it was neither recorded in the International Meteoritical Society database nor acknowledged by the scientific community. Number 5. Ancient Inca Airplane The Inca is one of the most renowned civilizations in history. The civilization only lasted for about a century, but the contributions they left behind are immense. The Incas were known as a great civilization who had great beliefs and a great way of living. Unfortunately, smallpox and war abruptly ended the reign of the once powerful civilization. More than 490 years after the last Incas, we continue to marvel at the artifacts they left behind. For one, archaeologists found these small golden figurines in the jungles that the Incas once inhabited in South America. Unlike several artifacts, archaeologists and conspiracy theorists paid close attention to these golden figures for one reason. They resemble modern airplanes. Now you could say that other bird figurines created in ancient times would look the same. However, these Inca figures known as Cholo are different. Archaeologists believe that these airplane figurines date back to 1200 to 1500 years ago. They were believed to be nose and ear accessories. But what's baffling modern archaeologists is the fact that they resemble modern airplanes. One mentioned that the proportions of the wings and tail of several cholo fit that of a modern airplane with impressive accuracy. Many researchers were intrigued by these figures that several decided to recreate larger versions of the tiny figurines. And the result was incredible. More than 10 of the larger models were able to fly and showed no aerodynamic flaws. Did the ancient civilization know about flight? How were they able to create these small airplane-like figures? What inspired them to design their decorations to look similar to modern aircraft? The mystery behind the Cholo remains to this day. Number 4. Fighter Airplane After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the United States joined the war. At the height of the battle, several planes and ships were deployed, and among them was this B-17E bomber. It was tasked to destroy Japanese forces, and during its flight, the plane suffered numerous hits until it eventually crash-landed in a jungle in Papua New Guinea. Everyone assumed that the plane crash-landed because of the damage it received, and only when someone found the wreck and examined what was inside the plane learned the truth. Ironically, the plane survived all the hits sent by the Japanese troops, but in the height of the battle, the plane ran out of fuel. All nine airmen on the plane survived but the location of the crash put them in a dangerous position. For weeks, the soldiers did their best to survive on their own, without adequate food or water, and under the extreme heat of the sun. Fortunately, the soldiers got back to safety, but their plane remained where it crashed for years. In 2006, the plane was moved to Lay Wharf, but it was moved a few more times until it reached its final home at the Pacific Aviation Museum at Pearl Harbor on April 10, 2013. Because of the location of the wreck, the plane is nicknamed Swamp Ghost. Number 3. The Eccentric Sculpture Garden in Mexico In the Sierra Madre Mountains, about 280 miles north of Mexico City, lies an eccentric sculpture garden that seems out of place amongst the greenery. This is Las Posas, the brainchild of the wealthy British poet Edward James. Stumbling upon this man-made garden will initially make some people think they stumbled upon ancient ruins until they realized the modern touch of the sculptures. The garden consists of strange bridges, a road named the Seven Deadly Sins, stones with depictions of snakes, giant lilies, 
and hands springing from the ground. It was supposed to be an eccentric attraction that wouldn't harm the surrounding nature. James spent millions to ensure that the sculptures would last a long time. In 2007, the Fondo Helitla Foundation bought the site and continued to conserve the sculptures and the surrounding lands. Number 2. The Mysterious Disappearance of Michael Rockefeller One of the most mysterious disappearances in history is that of explorer and heir Michael Rockefeller, the fifth child of New York Governor and former U.S. Vice President Nelson Rockefeller. Michael traveled to the heart of New Guinea's Azmat tribal homeland in 1961, and it was the last time he was ever seen. Asmat was a jungle filled with biodiversity. It had all the natural resource a tribe would need to survive. Michael visited the Asmats in 1960, and the man quickly learned the customs of the tribe. The Asmat people at the time practiced several violent rites that included beheading their enemies and eating their flesh. Despite the terrifying possibility that the tribe would turn against him, Michael was undeterred. That year, Michael made it out of the jungle alive. A year later, the young man set out to New Guinea once again, accompanied by Rene Wassing, a government anthropologist. It was believed that their boat overturned 12 miles from the shore. Michael allegedly drowned and never reached land. Drowning was ruled as the cause of Michael's death, but some believed otherwise. Some people think that the Azmats or other tribes in the jungle may have eaten Michael. To this day, no conclusive evidence has been found. Although many tribes are now peaceful and welcoming of outsiders, there are still several tribes living in rainforests and jungles all around the world that refuse to make contact with the outside world. Some have tried, but failed. These tribes are not afraid to use violence to drive outsiders away. The dilemma as to how to approach these people remains. Some organizations claim that it would be better to leave these tribes alone, while some insist that it would be better to help them, not entirely, but just enough for them to keep up. Today, the Sentinelese people are one of the most well-known uncontactable tribes in the world. They live on North Sentinel Island, which is currently under the protection of the Indian government. Number 1. Sprawling Maya Network Discovered Under Guatemala New technology has proved to be helpful in discovering new archaeological wonders. In 2018, archaeologists managed to locate more than 60,000 hidden Maya ruins in Guatemala. The megapolis covers more than 810 square miles of land in northern Petén. If it weren't for the laser technology that was developed, it would have been impossible to map out the entire area, which is now covered in lush trees. The 2018 discovery was another archaeological breakthrough. Excavations and studies continue to this day, and many believe that the ruins would let us learn more about the ancient Maya. There really are a lot of strange things in the jungle, but which one of these captured your interest the most? And do you know about other mysterious things found in the jungle? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.